Welcome to the Metal Guru. In this channel, we do a lot of heavy metal reviews, but not the average super well-known heavy metal bands that everyone knows, but rather the super unknown heavy metal bands that everyone should know. So, if you're new to the channel and you like what you hear, please consider subscribing. Hello and welcome once more to the Metal Guru. So glad to have you back. Okay, going back to previous episode's question. Is heavy metal dead? We said that it wasn't, but that's one problem. We negated the death of heavy metal and our only proof were three albums. So, I ask the same question again. Is heavy metal dead? Of course not. Today, we'll show you two more pieces of evidence that proves that heavy metal is more than alive. In today's episode, we're going to review two albums that maybe are a little bit more known than the previous albums, but still are not mainstream. We found two awesome mega ones. We'll give you a clue as regards to where they are from. One's from Oceania and the other is from Europe. No, not from England, keep guessing. No, it's not from Germany and it's not from Norway. The first band that we're going to review is from Northern Ireland. Bet you didn't see that one coming, did you? I don't want to sound repetitive for this, but I told you we're going to show you bands from all over the world and trust us with this. Okay, are you ready? Please make sure you're inside a bubble because you will start jumping around and kicking. And we don't want you hurting yourself. Please welcome Gamma Bomb with only one M. The band was formed in the year 2000 in Northern Ireland, and their last album, Untouchable Glory, is their best work so far. Released in 2015, the songs are as fast as hell. I honestly don't understand how is it that they don't get super tired after the first two songs. As you can see, all its musicians are very talented. They are fast, have a lot of technique, and their melodies are super cool. You might need to listen to a few songs before you get used to their sound, which is kinda unique. But once you get used to it, you'll start liking the band right away. And what do you think about the singer? He's cool, right? Once again, maybe you'll need a little bit of time to get used to his singing style. I don't know if you have paid attention to the drummer, but he never stops. He doesn't know what being tired is. If you haven't paid attention to him, I suggest you go back a few seconds and take a listen. I hope you enjoyed Gamma Bomb. You can follow them on Spotify. Here, at the Metal Guru, we give Untouchable Glory a rating of 9 out of 10. Now, it's Australia's turn with Forearm. Forearm is a band of four seeds formed in the year 2004. In their beginnings, they were more aggressive than they are now. They have switched to a more melodic and catchy sound. But still, they are a great trash band. They are very different from Gamma Bomb, that's for sure, but the music is just splendid. The singer has a vocal style that I like very much. He has got the Black Album Selfie kind of resemblance when the vocals are doubled, although more grave. They have super melodic guitar licks as well, and the music is in full harmony. The rhythm guitars are stepped down and they do a great job in accompanying the vocals and the melodic guitars.
but their job is not only to accompany, they also stand out. The guitar solos are wonderful as well. They go from rough to super accurate guitar pickings. They also have a cool deal of creativity when it comes to riffs. Listen to these ones. We have reached the end of the analysis. We give Forearm a rating of 9 out of 10. It's time for the album versus album face off. The album that we like the most from these two is. Survivalist. The only thing that made us choose between one and the other is because of the musical production. It sounds a little bit better, and it has caught a flow among the songs that Untouchable Glory hasn't. We have finally reached the end of the video. Did you like the new format? It's more to the point and it's structured in a way that is shorter and you get to listen the same amount of music as in the other format. So, do you agree with our opinion? Is Survival is a better album than Untouchable Glory? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and to tell us if you consider this episode's format is better than the previous episode. The Metal Guru thanks you for watching this video, for sharing it and until next time.